um, an impromptu uh, video um, and it was just really an opportunity to chat about how you can um, age paper by giving it um, a, a paint technique um, on its surface um, that does give the feel of an aged piece of paper or perhaps even the impression that it's it's the surface looks very much like vellum if you're not happy using vellum as a painting support um, because of its origins um, this is a great way of you um, being able to add a bit more depth of colour to your paper now this one I've got in front of you here this is um, Strathmore I think it's Strathmore is it Stonehenge no it's um, Stonehenge um, paper and this is the taupe colour so you can see around the edge here it's actually um, it's actually this is its actual colour and this is the piece that I've done previously I've taped it all the way round um, just with masking tape like you can see here um, on the board and then what I've done is I've used my my hake brush which hasn't seen the light of day for a long time it's this brush, it's what I used to use for landscapes many, many years ago. Um, and then what I've done is dampened the whole paper. Now, I'll show you that in a moment, but the colour I've used is actually walnut ink. So, um, that I got from Cornelison's, the art shop in London. Um, and then I applied it with a normal um, round brush. This is a size 8 Isabelle brush, um, but you can use any brush. It doesn't even have to have a good point necessarily. Um, but it's really good fun to do. Um, so let's have a go and um, we'll see what happens. So what I've got here is a piece of the Stonehenge paper, but this is actually the cream. So it's going to give us a lighter surface than what we've got on this one here. So I'm going to get my hake brush. I've got a big pot of water here. It's still got a bit of colour in there from the walnut ink from before. And then what I'm going to do is just dampen it I want it quite wet I don't mind if it pulls on the surface a little bit as in you know puddles of, of moisture um, because the walnut ink is very very staining so once you apply it to the paper there's not a lot of flexibility in moving it around too much there will be some residual sort of permanency in the places where you put it on so in this dish here you can just see to the right I've got some walnut ink which I've diluted down and used my pipette now what I'm going to do is just put some of this on now you can see how how it is pooling on the surface and how the surface is is really wet already with the with the water and I don't mind this too much because it gives a nice sort of soft impression. And I wanted to use this cream because I like the warmth of using the top surface but I just wanted to see um, how the similar effects would look with the cream paper. Now what I've actually done is is with this walnut ink I've diluted it down even more than what I originally did with the um, top paper just because this cream paper is light and lighter in itself. Now what I'm going to do is I've got my hake brush here so I'm just taking some of the excess moisture off from before and I'm just going to lightly put that over the surface of the paper I think it gives quite a nice effect I think it's great for autumnal subjects as well really really grateful terminal subjects now what I'm going to do this is the walnut ink that I've been using um, so I'm going to get my pipette and hopefully you can just see this I'm going to put a little bit in there 
I want it a little bit more concentrated than what I've had already. Sorry, I'm just being fussy sealing this um, bottle because I don't want it to spill everywhere because of it being sustaining. Put in a tiny drop of water in there. And then what I'm going to do is just from my brush pot on the side, and you need to do this while it's still wet, while the paper's still wet, what I'm going to do, can you see I'm just splattering the brush on. This is really, really experimental for me. And bringing the hake brush across. Gosh, that really does look like a, a piece of vellum, a piece of textured vellum, or patterned vellum, I should say, really. So, so that's that. I'm going to leave it to dry. Um, you can leave it to dry or you can use a hairdryer. I tend to discourage people from using a hairdryer when they're drying watercolours, but is that, as this is the base wash and these papers are going to be used predominantly for pen and ink work. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to take this off and so you can see, sorry I've covered up the camera, so you can see as a whole how that, how that looks. I think that looks quite good. And this is the other one on the top paper, which has given more of a, a marbled effect really. Anyway, just a really quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, thanks for following me on Facebook. Bye.